First at 6 tonight, demonstrators take to downtown Columbus for a fourth straight weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Taylor. Today, protests come after Juneteenth, the day Columbus saw celebrations and demonstrations in several different areas. NBC 4's Eric Halpern is live downtown tonight by the State House with more on how protesters say they're working on new ways to keep this momentum going. Eric? Mark, there are a couple of different things going on down here at the State House today. Around noon, all of these beach balls were put out here on the State House lawn. The organizer who also did this last weekend says they represent some of the people who have been killed by police since 2013. Each ball has a person's name on it. And like we've seen pretty much every weekend for the last three plus weeks, every day for the last three plus weeks, people have also been standing on the sidewalk along High Street chanting. Some cars are also parked on High Street. I talked to a woman who's been leading many of the chants and marches for weeks. She says they're trying to make things more organized and also trying to make sure people know there is support here. She's hoping to build off of the energy from Juneteenth. I also talked with a man who's been sitting with the demonstrators every day for the last several weeks. He says they need to do this for the younger generation and just because Juneteenth has passed does not mean they'll stop. They have to keep up the fight. You just can't keep it in one day because laws don't change in one day. It doesn't change in six months, it doesn't change in 90 days. You know, in order for us to make a change, stand for a change, we all have to stand together and push until those changes are made. It's a stepping stone, really, for us to be able to reach out and help each other. So that's why it's important to me. This is a stepping stone for bigger things in all in our community. And the organizer says these beach balls will be cleaned up around 7 o'clock tonight, and there are more demonstrations planned for tomorrow. Live and local for you at the State House, I'm Eric Alpern, NBC4.